<clears throat> okay, so this is uh, the new update to Seymour Virtual Cinema, VR Cinema. Uh, everything looks really nice. Uh, it is a huge overhaul. Uh, they added dynamic lighting. Uh, there's YouTube support. Uh, now you don't need like uh, videos to be on your internal memory or your SD card or whatever. The you, you're no longer required to use a touch screen for menus to select things. Uh, so now there's VR menus. There's barrel uh, distortion adjustments. Uh, a lot of things. Uh, let's see. There's a drift fix, which I don't know about that, but uh, still not too happy with the drift fix. Because uh, that's like the biggest downfall of this. But if you don't really have that issue, then you should be okay. But there's different, different types of barrel distortion. Uh, you see, the drifting is actually an issue when uh, trying to select things in menus. Uh, but there's IPD, IPD settings, there's FOV, so you have a bigger field of view. But right now, if you see, I'm looking forward. I've drifted around. And now, in order to fix this, I have to go to the player menu. Go to this thing right here. And put my head forward. And it resets, which is a kind of a pain. So the drift, is, the drift fix works in the way that you, if you keep your head still for a certain amount of time, it will lock your head, so you won't be able to move left and right, but you can look up and down in order to unlock the full uh, head tracking. You tilt your head like that, and then you can look around. Or you can just t uh, move your head a lot, uh, quite a bit, but that'll throw things off. And I'm already, already I'm off. So while you're moving your head around, uh, you're... <sighs> You uh, the screen drifts, and then your your positioning is off. So that's a bit of an issue. Uh, so already I'm like looking over my shoulder, and the only thing I think to do outside of that centering option is to very slowly move my head back when left and right is locked to get it to be in the correct position, uh, which is actually kind of hard to do. So now we are going to, what are we doing here? We want to go to the menu. So the, like I said, I don't know if I said this, but the menus are really hard to navigate with all the drifting problems. Uh, we are going to check out some YouTube videos. Uh, I haven't gotten voice search to work. That would really help, but it doesn't work. Uh, let's look up a Lord of the Rings. Uh, Lord of the Rings trailer on YouTube or something. Searching would be a lot easier without the drift issues. Uh, when the keyboard comes up, the frame rate seems to drop. Oops. Messed up. Yeah, now I'm like having trouble moving my head because the screen has already drifted a mile away. All right, I'm going to have to reorientate this again because it's driving me crazy. Uh, I don't even know if I could turn my head that uh, much. Yes, yeah, so you see I'm looking at the back. This is the front now. Okay. Wow. Almost missed it. 
All right, let's try to get back to the... I hope I can search now. I hope it kept my search. It did. Yeah, and as you see, it's moving around. I'm having trouble... I'm having trouble selecting this. Come on. Okay, we did it. Aw, oh, screw you. Okay. Now we have selected that. Let's hit accept. Uh, we're going to bring up the video I want to watch. Hopefully. And I'm just going to, just for the sake of it, I'm going to freaking reset my thingy here. And look forward. Obviously, see, I'm off. Okay. And now we see this is the Lord of the Rings trailer. And the screen looks really big from the headset. Uh, and you see the light. I wish I had a body. Okay, I threw myself off like that. I in instead of tilting my head, I uh, I moved my head. until it unlocked but it's better to tilt your head anyways I'm just gonna tilt my head like that and you can see all the light reflecting off of the seats and things like that so that, that that's fairly cool but the fact that it drifts while I'm looking at the seats is not and uh, yeah <laughs> So, and it's kind of uncomfortable to keep turning your head like this. And you see, I'm, this is how much I've drifted. So, well, that's cool. At least the graphics and everything. And if you don't suffer from drift, also to point out, uh, Seymour, the company who makes this app, is coming out with their own headset with its internal sensors, which I probably will be getting that. I don't know if I'm going to get it as soon as it comes out, but I'll probably be getting it. And uh, uh, it seems really cool. It has uh, built-in sensors. They're going to have screens for PC streaming, uh, so you can HDMI out to an actual screen. And uh, this way you could have very, very low latency. The same as you would see on your monitor, hopefully. And, um... And it'll be a bigger screen for me, because I have a Galaxy S4. So... We'll see how that works. But, uh... Yeah. So. Now, it would also be better with a with a the headset because this headset is insanely uncomfortable. <laughs> Has stuff that digs into your nose, your cheeks, everything. Your butt cheeks. So I could sit here and watch this once I get past all the hurdles of friggin' the drifting problems. So if I'm gonna keep my head still and actually watch a movie or something, I can watch it. I just can't really if I turn my head it causes a problem. Um yeah. It's very hard not to want to look around in the theater because it does look really nice. Uh, it is very immersive. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that guy's hot, by the way. I want to bang that lump on his eye. Now just remember the screen that you're looking at through this headset is not true HD because uh, it has to it can't take up the entire uh, screen so it's like a small you know it can't 
HD. Um, looks nice from here, but uh, because it's uh, they have the whole theater on the screen, and then you have the video, um, it takes up a small portion of the screen, and you know, in real life, uh, it's not HD. Uh, if that makes any sense. Didn't know how to explain that, but... And apparently that ended that. Uh, sometimes YouTube videos just abruptly end. That's an, that's an issue. I don't know if that's what happened. Let me see. Um, can't tell. It looks like it's showing that it just... I don't know. Sometimes I had YouTube videos ending. Now I'm... Because I'm moving, uh, the screen is off again. So, have to fix the drifting again. Um, I don't have any videos or movies at all on, uh, in, actually in digital uh, formats or anything. Uh, I have Netflix, but that doesn't work here. Um, so, huh. Other than that, uh, I screwed up again. <laughs> To fix that, I keep moving my head to unlock it instead of tilting it. I have to, I'm moving it left and right. So, so I'm gonna tilt my head so that I keep the orientation and everything. And I'm just gonna look around in the theater. Everything looks cool. There's no people in here though. This movie theater must really suck. These guys are gonna shut down soon. Because uh, nobody comes here. Um, you know, this is like the uh, movie theater that uh, people would rather die than go to. Um, I guess I could let my friends in those exits over there if I wanted to. You know, that'd be cool. And of course my head is, you know, in the wrong positioning. However, the, the immersion in this app is really good. It's just the freaking drifting is driving me crazy. And they promised that this would be fixed in this version, but I don't see, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, maybe they didn't realize or something that this would have been an issue. Um, I think if you're on, like I've asked for it on Lollipop, it doesn't seem to have any drifting issues or any major ones that I'm noticing. But I'm on KitKat. I went back to KitKat for Viper Audio because it doesn't work on Lollipop at all, no matter what you do. So, I'm now, like, now I'm for I'm looking forward in real life in this app. I'm looking at seats over in the corner of the theater. <laughs> um, so, I have to completely turn my freaking head to the back of my couch to do this again. And then I have to, like, swing my head around to make sure I make the timing for the camera resetting. Okay. So. Gonna try to watch another. Let's just watch another Lord of the Rings so I don't have to search. It's searching is a pain in the ass. I think there's also controller support, though. So. If you feel like pairing a controller, that could help you, I guess. Okay, why why won't this select the Okay. Doesn't want to play that movie that video. Tap. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna to have to again same crap. And uh look ahead and reset the view. Okay. This is some lotheads idea of a joke. <laughs> I can only say it is in very poor taste. Hello. No man can kill me. Die now. Die. So 
sweet. Move around, look around, see the lighting. You see it kind of flickering and stuff off the seats. Okay, check out the walls and see all the lighting flickering off the ceilings and all that. It's always, always cool. Even if it means that my head's gonna drift all over the fucking place. Let's look back there. There's the uh, there's the projector. It looks really cool, actually. Uh, lock my head there, and then back to the usual. So I think I mentioned that there's. LAN streaming, so you can stream from your PC. And the usual, you can stream movies from your PC, so you don't have to use your phone's internal storage. Wasted on, you know, gigantic movies, and take up your entire internal storage. So. You see that a little flickering and stuff. So, I think that's it. Let me just check the settings. I want to show you some of the settings more. I don't know if I show that. I got to go to the advanced settings. And uh, you see we have the barrel distortion, IPD settings, and FOV. Uh, let me check out the FOV settings. Uh, yes, yes, and I want to get unlost. Yeah, yeah, so now you're uh, higher field of view. IPD, just the IPD settings. Maybe does that even do anything? Yeah, so that's that. So that's the uh, app there. Looks really nice in the headset. Drift is still a major issue. Um, but uh, yeah, the lighting is awesome though. Um, just wish they, they could fix the drift, but it seems like something you really can't fix. Uh, without like an update to software or um, some other sensors other than your phone's uh, your phone sensors so. although some apps don't have it but I think it's just different uh, the hell is it different um, pockets there's different uh, shit that people build their apps with and some seem to suffer a lot and some don't I guess I don't know. Whatever. Click to watch clips for movies. Other than that, this is a huge improvement. Like, uh, probably... A... 110% improvement over the original application. Um, uh, just... A few things other than the drift problem. Um, it would be nice if you could move, you know, change your seating, which they said they're going to add. Uh, let's see. Oh, I would like to be able to get up and walk around like in the Oculus Cinema. Because, uh, yeah, that would, that's a cool idea. Be able to get up and walk around. You also download uh, uh, what the fuck is it? Posters for your movies and uh, what do you call those things? Uh, Jesus, 
they have them, uh, captions or something. What do you call them? Yeah. <coughs> so there's that. And uh, yeah. So thank you for watching. That's uh, the cinema app from Seymour. Uh, yeah. So if you're interested uh, in in mobile VR, I would definitely recommend checking out their head their headset. I would probably say, even though I'm not gonna do it because I can't help myself, uh, just you know check reviews first before you go and buy it. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I'll probably just buy it, you know, with no self-control, like normal, even if it sucks. <laughs> uh, but, it, I mean, I feel like it has to be better than what I got. <laughs> uh, so thank you for watching, and, uh, yeah, see you later.